Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Can I see it? Yeah. What happened? I don't know what's going on, but good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I just had to hop on here. For those that got goals and dreams and things come against you or you think that you can't handle it or you think that you uh too old, you're never too old for a dream or a goal. I've been with Harris Help for 24 years as a PCT. Uh... I've been wanting to challenge the board to become an MA. Um, so today, you are looking at a MA, Certified Medical Assistance. Nothing but God did it. God did it for me. God did it for me. I am the proudest woman on this earth. I thank all my friends that prayed for me, that stood in the gap for me, that knew that I was uh, taking a class for six weeks. And today, and I, I really think Dean Professional, um, I think my teacher, Ms. Lawanda Daly, awesome RN, that uh, knew the ins and the outs. Um, I've been doing it for, I've been doing Healthcare for actually 24 years since I've been at Bentall, uh, Bentall, uh, Harris Health. Some may know it as Harris Health, but I've been at Bentall. I thank my coworkers for seeing and believing in me and having the confidence in me. I know my jaw roll. Um, I don't take it lightly. Uh, I try to treat people, kids, how I would treat my own kids when they come in there for the service. That, that is rendered through Harris Health. Uh, I try to be the best employee that I know how to be uh, decent in order and very respectable. Um, I'm just happy. I'm happy that, that the people that I'm connected with that stood in the gap, prayed for me, covered me. Uh, shout out to Trini Henry. Shout out to Prophet Apostle Stephanie Bernstein. Shout out to Stacy Brown, Prophet Stacy Brown. Shout out to Ebony. Shout out to Shanita Jackson. Uh, shout out to Tiffany. She's not on Facebook. Uh, shout out to uh, Freedom McKnight, Apostle Freedom McKnight. Shout out to Kimberly Small, Apostle Kimberly Small, that's getting ready to have a 24-hour prayer um, shut-in. You don't want to miss that. <laughs> prayer is the key to everything. Some people don't think prayer is the key to everything, but it is. And you have to have the faith and believe. You got to trust God no matter what. You got to trust God when you can't even see see it or trace it trust him believe him believe his word uh god god was specific with me he told me to do it march I got it real quick. march the 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 march the 20 i mean march the night he told me to do it march the night at 9 a.m and sit in the third seat <laughs> some of y'all might not understand it but i understand it <laughs> and not only that March is my mother's birthday. March the 14th. Also, my brother, March the 11th. God is just an amazing God. I can't do nothing without him. Today, he really showed up and showed out. I thank God that me and my uh, uh, classmate, Natalie Cruz, passed. Uh, God is just, he amazing. He is amazing. He's amazing, God. He is an amazing God. You, hey, if you don't believe me, look at the people that I surround myself with. See, they grow. 
Because you can't be in God without growing. I think my pastor, Pastor Eve, Pastor Remus Wright and Mia K. Wright, I think uh, 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 I'm proud to say that I've learned so much sitting under the 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 leadership um don't throw in the towel don't give up i don't care how hard it seems i am 52 and today i pass <laughs> today i'm proud of myself if nobody is proud of me i'm proud of me but i do know that i have a supporting team my co-workers uh, especially Amy. Amy, she just kept saying, Tori, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Selena even said it. Maria even uh, said it. Mary even said it. Uh, Nelly even said it. And I'm pretty sure that they probably was praying for me behind the scenes. You know, I thank God for allowing me the time to go over there to Pasadena and get the experience that I need with the, the ladies that he has me around now. Um, I've always worked with Mary and I, we learn from each other. I, I'm a, I'm a believer of asking questions and I, I observe also so that I know when it's my time to be able to do it, that I'll know how to do it and do it correctly. Um, don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your hopes. Uh, Ebony, shout out to my girl Ebony. She called me peanut butter, dark chocolate. I I passed. I did it. it I did it with God help. Nobody but God. Nobody but Jesus. So you can't tell me what Jesus won't do because I know that he will do it. I love my clique that I am surrounded with. I am uh, 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 Sonya. Thank you. Uh, 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 I don't call her a prophet. I call her an uh, uh, apostle. Apostle Sonya that called me and give me encouraging words or text me and say everything going to be all right. A uh, prophetess had night uh, standing in the gap uh, for me. A beautiful woman of God uh, that I met at Pastor J uh, Church. Uh, 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 we've came connected. She's my sister in Christ. She's a first lady. Um, I don't want to miss nobody. Uh, 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 my cousin Gigi, she's saying that I can do it. My daughter Jasmine sent me a text and, and, and gave me back what I give them. Pray about it. You know, uh, scripture. Uh, uh, my grandson saying, calling and saying, congratulations. My son saying, congratulations. So don't tell me what you can't do. Cause it's, it can't, it's not in your vocabulary. You should be saying that you can do it. You can do it with the, the strength of Christ. You can do all things with the strength of Christ. Cause he gave me that scripture this morning. And believe me, I put that scripture in my shoe. Some people may think it's crazy, but when you walk on the word of God, you, you the word cannot come back. It can't come back to you void. Try it. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself because it helped me. It helped me. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up. Now the next step is LVN. Here I come. I can't stop. I won't stop. You know, hey, the ladders that I have to climb, I'm okay with climbing them at this age because it doesn't matter what age. It's, it, it matters out the outcome. You know, um, this six weeks, it, 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 it made me get studious. It made me uh, do strategies on how to uh, uh, study. Strategies on, uh, 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 nah, girl, I can't I can't do it today. If I got to turn my phone off, I'll turn my phone off because I got to get in front of that computer at 630. And I got to leave work on time. Uh, I'm a firm believer. I stay back and, and help overtime. Uh, now, I can do that. Now, I'm just ready to go up the ladder of what Harris, Harris Help has to offer me. Um, don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up. Dare not give up. Trust God. Oh, my girl, Jamie, she sent me a song. Bless you, Jamie. Uh, uh, Dr. Wiley, bless you for lifting me up. Uh, 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 uh. 
First Lady Robin, thank you for, for lifting me up. Pastor Kara, uh, 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 Minister Kim Brown, like I have a good supporting team of, uh, of, of connections that I'm with. Y'all just don't know how that the, the, the feeling it feels so good to be, you know, accomplish one of your dreams, one of your goals, you know. It might not be nothing to you, but it's a whole lot to me. You know, um, my God, Mama Barbara, Jeanette, uh, I could just keep on naming them. God is so good. He is awesome. Mary, Mary, my girl, you know, I ask her questions. She, she, I teach her, she teach me. It's, it's all about who you can learn from. How, if you watch them and you watch them and you ask questions, you know, I know that I can do it without of a shadow of a doubt. I never had a doubt in me that I couldn't do it. It's just that I I, I wanted it so bad to do and accomplish. And God made it happen on today, March the 9th, 2022. 2022 at 9 a.m. And I think we finished at 12 God is, is, is a good God. Three hours. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Y'all might not understand. My girl Trini, she called me while I was on my way there. God is amazing. God is, is amazing. He's an amazing God. He is an amazing God. Don't give up on your dreams. Keep the hope alive. Because God, if he did it for me, what makes you think that he can't do it for you? And I'm being very serious. You know, it was a goal. It was it was a dream. You know, when my son went off to college, I enrolled in LVN school. And then it, something happened at my job where they didn't want to allow me, you know, because I was right around the corner from San, San Jack. But that was just a, a, a detour. But sometimes in the detours, you'll get on the right track to go where you, where the destiny is that God has for you. And I know God has a destiny for me. I know. I know without a shadow of doubt. So I dare not give up. I dare not throw in the towel. So don't you throw in the towel. Don't you give up. It might look rough and it might look tough. But God ain't going to put no more on you than he, you can bear. He's going to be always there with you or right on the side of you. Even when you think that he's not there, he's there. So trust him. Believe him. Keep the faith. He said walk by faith and not by sight. I ain't look at my circumstances, cause my circumstances, I probably would have threw in the towel a long time ago, but I said no, nah, mm -mm. it wasn't, it wasn't my time. Now God is allowing it to be my time, my season, and so I'm walking, walking in obedience. When He tell you to do some, listen to the instructions, cause He tell us trust. And lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, acknowledge you and he'll direct your path. He'll direct your path. He will 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 direct your path. Will direct your path. I'm telling you, he will direct your path. It, 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 it feels so good. <laughs> It feels so good to accomplish something, something that somebody didn't give it to me. God gave it to me. He gave me the opportunity to, to, to line up because I had been wanting to challenge the board. I been wanting to challenge the board, but then COVID hit and then I would have to pay 200 and some dollars. So God orchestrated it for me because I reached out to, to a Dean professional some years ago asking them and I did I, I don't think I was able to uh do the class because of the COVID and look how look how good God is he came back around they sent me an email and I'm like is this for me so I signed up for six weeks to become a medical assistant and today I am a certified medical assistant so i know god is good didn't have to pay a dime it was free 
then I, I, I also helped a, a co-worker because I knew that she was trying to do the same thing. When you uh when when God bless you and you are a blessing to others, your path is smooth. Your path is smooth. Your path is smooth. So don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> the next step is 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 LVN to an RN. I want I want to take baby steps, but God might want me to take giant steps. So if God tell me to take that giant step, I'm going to take that giant step. But I'm going to believe and trust in God on the way. The only way up for me is up, not down. Because I've been down long enough. I've been down long enough. God is an amazing God. Hold on to your dreams. <laughs> the dreams that God have given you, he unction them and he put them in your belly. He put them inside of you. He ain't just give it to you. That's nothing but the Holy Spirit saying you can do it. You can handle it. He not going to put no more on you than you can bear. If he do, he's going to be he's going to be right there able to to walk you through it, able to give you the directions to what which way to go in. He he might tell you to turn left. Follow his instructions. Cuz see, I didn't know why he gave me the instructions that he gave me for today. But I obeyed. Because we had the 8th, the, the ninth, and the 10th. Majority of the girls doing the 10th. But the girl that I did the, the thing with today, she said she kept praying, praying, and praying. And God told her the ninth. So it was for her. Let, let alone for me. 9, 9, 9 o'clock in the morning, 9, and March the ninth. Today, it was nothing but God. And then he told me to sit in the third seat, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Then I brought my shout, uh, uh, prayer shout because I meant business. That I was not walking away saying fail. I was walking away and it was saying pass. And I passed. And you talking about happy? All of the glory belongs to God. It belongs to God. It wasn't Torah. It was God. It was God and it was the ladies that I'm connected with praying and lifting me up in the spirit. I can't do nothing but thank God. I can't do nothing but bless him. And I can't do nothing but say thank you for the ones that lifted me up. That genuinely lifted me up. That knew that I wanted it because I didn't stop. He isolated me to get me ready to do what it is that I needed to do. To, to get in a, a, a study mode. Because you can't be to and fro all over the place and saying that you want this and you want that. But you ain't doing nothing to get in the mode of, of what he directing you to do or what you doing. You He did it. You know, it started getting frustrated because I ain't have a computer. My son blessed me with a computer. He was like, what it asked him what the mode is to take the test and all of that. He went and purchased the computer. I didn't ask him. I just want to borrow his computer. But he he better yet, he blessed me with a computer. I can't do nothing but say thank you because God lined it up. He started with my son, my baby boy. Then my other kids coming over here and saying, well, mama, how you going to study? How you going to study? And you doing X, Y, and D, and you ain't doing that. And you, 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 you got to, you better get in there and learn them words. My oldest son said that. I said, oh, mama got it. Get in there. Some of the words we don't use daily, but I learned. I learned the root, the prefix, the suffix. So now when I hear a doctor say X, Y, and Z, I know what they talking about. I learned just as well. It's never too late to learn. It's never too late to pick up something that somebody that, that genuinely has the heart for it. I look at the, those nurses. They they genuinely have the heart. Some of them be like, oh, I didn't just, that made that baby cry. But I'm saying all that to say don't give up on the go. If God is telling you to write that book, isolate yourself. Get in an isolation mode and write the book. Get in, go to the park, go somewhere, go to Starbucks. 
get out of your comfort zone and do what God is telling you to do. If God is telling you to and you ain't doing nothing about it, how you going to say that you want it and you ain't doing nothing about it? If you want it, you like like a like a, a person that, that runs track. When they want it, they going to get out there. They going to practice like a football player, like a cheerleader. I was a cheerleader, and I wanted to go to the top. The only way I could go to the top and come down and with a toe touch is that I had to practice. And I practiced, and I practiced, and I practiced. And finally, at the Astrodome, I did it. So today, I did it. With the help of God. So I'm basically telling you. Go out there and do it. Just do it. Don't worry about what somebody else saying. Worry about what the Holy Spirit is telling you. Because the Holy Spirit ain't put nothing in you. That you can't do. He ain't. He not going to do it. He is not going to do it. He is not going to do it. If he put it in you. He's going to allow you to do it. If it's a. If, if, if it's a. Uh. uh organization he telling you to do for women do it if he, if he telling you to do, run that ministry do it when don't nobody else think of what it is that he's telling you to do do it god gonna supply every need he supplied mines and it wasn't nothing but a simple computer i i thank god for my son purchasing the computer because I could have stopped being when I couldn't get on the computer. But he was like, no. He he did it through my son. No, you're going to still go forward. Get to work and telling the ladies that this is what I want to do. I, I'm trying to do. They're asking me questions. They're saying you can do it. So they pushing me. They pumping me to let me know that I can do it. But I had the faith in, and I believed that I could do it with the help of God. I ain't do it by myself. God did it. So what I'm telling you today is the dream, the vision that God has given you, do it. Stop waiting. Do it. He's saying do it. You can do it. I thank y'all for listening because I know that God is a good God. <laughs> y'all enjoy y'all day. And my daddy told me to celebrate. So I'm going to celebrate. My physical my physical daddy said celebrate. Because he said, you always call him with me with bad news. Well, today, I called him with good news. And he said, baby, celebrate. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Because God is so good.